Hey guys, unless you've been hiding under a hole somewhere, you would no doubt have heard of ChatGPT. And ChatGPT is amazing for many, many things, including writing MQL code. And when I heard about this a couple of months ago, I did try creating uh, uh, some code, but I could never get it working. I'm not a coder, so I didn't know what to do to fix it. And I'm sure if you are a coder, you could get it to write some code and then you can make some small tweaks and, and get it working save a lot of time but to a non-coder it's it's no real use it's great to get some code but unless you know what you're doing you can't fix it but but in this video i want to show you the dialogue that i had with chat gpt and how i got the code working so what i did was within chat gpt i asked it to write me some mql code for a train robot that scout that night scalps extremes with the bollinger bands and with rsi so it goes, okay, it wrote this. And you know, you, you let it write everything. And once it's, it's got that, you go to copy code and then you just put it into your um, your platform. So if you open your, up your MetaTrader, then go to tools, MetaQuotes language editor. And uh, I would just open, if you haven't done so, the standard MACD sample. And I'll use this one as my best, best Use this one as my base template. Do a file, save as, tell me what you want. So I'm just calling it Allen's, it's the Allen Forex new training robot. And then you can, if I can find my mouse, where's my mouse? Here it is. Control A to select the whole lot. You delete it because it's the one that you've got default and then you control V and if all goes well you click on compile so double click so you can see what that looks like there should be a okay here we are I just want to show you it's going to max, make this bit bigger. For some reason, this is a remote desktop. So, as you can see here, you get these error warnings. Oh no, this is not good. So then I went back in. ChatGPT. And, and I said, okay, I'll put this into meta edit, meta editor, but it return errors can provide me working code ensuring all variables and functions are declared because that's what it's saying here. It's saying this function is not, not defined, undeclared identifiers, and of course it then generated and some more. Goes, apologies for confusion, here's the corrected MQO for code. Okay, so then you copy that again. You paste it back in, so you go in my mouse again, oh, here we are, control A, delete it, control V, select a new one, compile again, once again, still errors, okay, so you keep telling it about the errors, so I went back down here, so now when I do this, it's saying this is not good, and it, it keeps on generating stuff, so then I, you just keep telling it what the errors are, Control A, delete, control V, compile it again. Different errors. I think eventually I realized, see this is the, get this, I realized that um, it had these include, is including some other files, which uh, when I looked, I couldn't find a trade.mqh. There is an include library. Include library, and I couldn't find it. So I, then I asked it at some point. I just want to show you. Um, so yeah, I did go through a few rounds of it, um, just telling it what the errors were. It kept rewriting the code. I think it's when I started, when I told it, uh, uh, can you rewrite this without the MQH files? Okay, so then that's this code here. Of 
Control A, delete, Control V, compile. Ah, and there it was. And then it, it started to work. So now it's popped up. It's got the inputs. This is going to be starting new trading robot. And then you can look for it in your strategy tester. And then you can run. And they just check to see if it works. Most likely it won't be, yeah, most likely it won't be profitable. Um, but you need to optimize it. But at least now you have a train robot that um, is working in terms of, you know, all the code is, is working and you can optimize it. So I hope you found that useful. But yes, ChatGPT is very powerful. Any idea that you've got you, that you've got in your mind that you want to put into a code, you get it to do so. And uh, it can also troubleshoot and fix any code errors. And then, like, like you see here, uh, there's a working trading robot now. All we need to do is optimize it, see if there are any options which allow it to be profitable. If not, move on, find a new one. But at least you can create your own trading robots here without knowing how to code at all.